1965, Yoginder Singh took his B-18 PV-544 to an outright win on the East African Safari. And in a couple of respects, our car is a sort of nod of gratitude to Yoginder. Um, the black bonnet is mimicking his car. But the big thing that he came up with um, was his cure for the nodding PV. Um, all PVs, because of their shock absorber arrangement, goes from the lower wishbone to the upper wishbone, which mechanically isn't ideal. Um, it basically means your shock absorber is less effective. If the upper point, as on the Amazon and all the later cars, went into the turret, in other words, from the lower wishbone to a fixed point, then it becomes much more efficient. Well, Volvo didn't do that. They went from wishbone to wishbone. And it's only because of the unequal length of wishbones that the shock absorber has any effect at all. What this means is that on the open road, when you hit any sort of undulation, uh, because it's got sh such a short spring length, it is effectively underdamped. And you will always, particularly with a, an oil shock absorber, and even with a gas bilstein, the car will nod at the front as it slowly, as the oscillations reduce. And this is a typical gait of a PV544, the nodding donkey um, effect. Now, in competition, you really don't want to accept that. It, it, it really does make things quite disconcerting and difficult to point the car, particularly when on the rough. And so what Yoginder Singh did was he fitted two shock absorbers, uh, one in the standard position with a standard pin offset going straight through both wishbones, and the other with a lifted pin and there is the center line of the original pin and here is the center line of the front pin. So it's basically a pin set that is cranked to lift it up and the reason you need to lift it up is so that the steering arm here can, can articulate through, otherwise you'd have no steering at all because you'd only be able to go through about 10 degrees either side. Um, so, there you go, that's what it is. His solution was this lovely, beautifully machined um, pin set that offsets both the top and the bottom shock absorber to lift it clear of the steering arm here. Um, and this then gives you far nicer handling. Uh, last year I was on the Devil's Own Rally with Amy and I decided then, because I hadn't rallied for a while and was probably a bit rusty, that I wanted better steering lock. So I took the rear shock absorber off, which with brake calipers then means you get better steering lock. Uh, it was a mistake. Uh, I was surprised. I know Emma had always told me that the difference is dramatic, and it is. The, the degradation of handling was just unacceptable. Uh, so I quickly put the rear shot back on, and once again, we've got a nice, competitive, beautifully handling car again. So that is Yoginder Singh's twin shock absorber conversion. Um, we supply the pins for that and the Bill Steins. Um, uh, and, and something we are massively grateful to Yoginder Singh for. Um, uh, it, it really is a delightful modification uh, and well worth having. Thank you.